Oh, oh god. Oh okay. god. What? Yes! Yes, Brad! Oh, wow. Let's go, Brad! Yes! So much money. Today, on this first ever Campus Grow Challenge, we have six Harvard University students competing against each other to see who is the smartest. And they will be answering a series of 10 trivia questions, and these are all fifth grade level. So we'll see how smart they really are. If at any point they get one wrong, oh, no. they will be eliminated. But if you answer all 10 questions correctly, you will make it to the end and win the grand prize of $50 each. I will send you on PayPal. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, we got some stakes here now. I'm your host, Hafu Go, and let's jump into the first ever Campus Grow Challenge, the Harvard University Trivia. Now, let's get to know our contestants. Hi, my name's Brad. Sorry, I'm in the middle of dyeing my hair. Um, I'm an incoming freshman at Harvard. I plan to study physics, and I'm also doing a dual degree program at the Berkeley School of Music. What about Brad number two? Yeah, I'm Brad number two. Uh, I'm studying computer science and probably a bit of economics. Hi, uh, I'm Liam. I am from Italy. I will be coming to Harvard probably to study cognitive science. Hi, everyone. So I'm, I'm Lap. I'm from Minnesota, and I'm planning to do a joint concentration in government and economics. Just wanted to let you know, I actually used your tour of Harvard uh, to make my decision. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's, really? That's pretty yes. funny. Hello, everybody. My name is Harez, and I'm also an incoming freshman to Harvard, and I'll be studying physics. I'm from Iraq. Wow. And you got into Harvard. That's big. That's big. My name's Tony, and I'm incoming class of 2024 at Harvard, and I'm planning to study cellular and molecular biology with some economics. All right, are you guys ready? No. No. It is said that 50% of Harvard students get this question wrong. A bat and a ball cost $1.10. The bat costs one dollar more than the ball. How much does a ball cost? You have 30 seconds to answer each question, starting now. Ooh, this is, uh, I feel like I get rescinded if I mess this one up. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, I'm like honestly more worried about this than about my interview. <laughs> like, <laughs> I thought I was or done. The office is looking through this. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm, no. yeah, I'm stressed. This is a pretty simple question, but it does have a little bit of a trickiness to it. Please reveal your answers. <laughs> Tony! Tony! Ah! Oh my god, first round, we eliminated two people. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so the 50% is actually true. <laughs> this was unexpected. You guys can stay in the call. And then um, keep on answering the rest of the questions. If you get five questions correct, you'll have the chance to come back. All right? The next question is, there are eight total planets in our solar system. Which planet is the sixth furthest away from the sun? Oh God. Which planet is the sixth furthest away from the sun? Do you guys know which planets are there and what order they're in? Pluto, planets. Yeah, are we counting Pluto? No, we are not counting Pluto. It's farthest Pluto. away, it doesn't matter. Wait, shit, what was the, there's like a, there's like a, um, there's a phrase, let's see, remember all of these. What the fuck? I just said it uh, outside, so. Yeah, exactly. Um, Please reveal your answers. Oh, thank God. Oh, whew. Wow. Wow, oh, you guys got it. That one scared me. Oh, you yeah. got it. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. Well, we were here. He, he, he just, oh, oh, he just got out. <laughs> oh, he, he, he died, dude. This is something that you should probably know. What is the skin on your elbow called? There's two names for this. One is more of a slang, one is more of a technical name. I will oh. accept both answers. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna get any, so. 
Wait. What was it called? It sounds very, very, uh, you know. Yeah. What if we spell it wrong? I don't know how to spell it. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Ah, uh, yeah. I think I might tap out here. <laughs> I don't you know. Try, I don't know how to dude, spell it either. Elementary school. This is everyone's like favorite did, word. I, Basic knowledge. It sounds a lot like uh, like uh, something that <laughs> should be censored. Oh, maybe I did get it right. Oh. One, two, three. Please reveal your answers. Oh. I actually wow. Wait, I didn't know oh, wow. oh I, I got it wrong. I got it wrong. <laughs> I just wrote something down. What is that? Was, what did you I write was, though? Isn't that like just skin in no, general? No, it's your yeah, skin. Yeah, just skin in general. Just skin yeah. in general. Oh. The correct answer is weenus for the slang version or the Karano skin. <laughs> <laughs> These questions are not designed to be very hard. They're elementary school level questions. The earth has four layers, the thinnest of which is called the crust. What is the thickest layer called? Wait, there are four. What is, I thought there were three. <laughs> what is the thickest layer of the earth called? I'm sorry, Mr. Rogers, he was my sixth grade science teacher. <laughs> Please don't be watching this. All right, you guys got your answers down? Yeah. One, two, three. Please reveal your answers. Mantle? Mantle, mantle, mantle. Did you write mantle? Congratulations, all of you pass on to the next round. Let's go. This is another science question. How many electrons does an atom of carbon have? I'm gonna get murdered if I mess this one up. My chem teacher drilled this into my head. But now I can't remember. Think about the periodic table. No, memorize it. Anything. Yeah, no, yeah, no, just no, regular no. carbon, yes? Just normal? Yep. Yeah, yeah, just just carbon, just carbon. These are elementary school level questions. <laughs> no, no trickery here. Everyone's got their answers? Mm -hmm. Liam? Yeah, writing it. One, two, three. Please reveal your answers. Oh, I done messed up. It oh, I was gonna Bradley. write eight two. I was gonna write eight two. Bradley. What is it? Eight Isn't oxygen. Eight yes. oxygen. Eight oxygen. Oxygen yes. is eight. Yes. Oh okay, gosh. Wait, Bradley, six? you were one of the competitors I thought I was gonna make it to the end. Come on. Uh, it's it's been a while since I've had <laughs> chemistry. <laughs> Is the uh, make a five in a row rule still in play? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you answer five correctly, you'll have to answer the last question correctly, and you will win fifty dollars. I will send you on PayPal. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, we got some stakes here now. All right, now we're moving on to the sixth question. And Tony, if you answer this question correctly, you will have the chance to come back into the competition. And win the prize. Seven plus seven divided by seven plus seven times seven minus seven equals what? Wait, could you repeat? Please repeat, yes. <laughs> All right. Seven plus seven divided by seven plus seven times seven minus seven equals what? All right, this is a uh, Testing your bed maths here. And does. Uh, okay. 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 Everyone, confirm their answer. I, final I answer. Think, I think. Please reveal your answers. Oh, there we go! Everyone here is good at math. Hey! Wow! <laughs> Yay! That wasn't a surprise. You guys know your bed Let's maths. Let's go, guys. <laughs> I'm happy for you guys. I'm and now, thrilled. And now, Tony, you get to come back into the competition and have a chance to win the $50 prize at the end. Okay. The Battle of Gettysburg was fought in which war? Oh, okay. What? Uh... The Battle of Gettysburg, Gettysburg was fought in which war? Okay. You guys, uh, this is one of the 
monumental moments in American history. Oh. Fun fact, I had to give a presentation on this in, high, in middle school in Italy, because they made me, because I'm, I'm American. They're like, you know what, you're American, you do this. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> now you remember. Now <laughs> I remember. Handy. Thank you, thank you, middle school. Okay. History's <laughs> not so useless. I give the what do you know? Do you have your answer, Brad? Yeah, I, I have it. Please reveal your answers now. Please. Oh, yes! Yes, Brad! Oh, wow, oh, look at you guys! Let's go, Brad! Yes! Wow, yes. wow. so, so good. Don't doubt yourself. I believe if I get this next one, I'm back in, right? Because I messed up the second question or something? Exactly. Okay, we only have three more questions until the very end. And uh, here we go. Oh, no. One year on what planet roughly lasts 88 days on Earth? Oh, <gasps> no. Oh, no. You guys just thought about the planets and the solar system, so you should know the distance between them. Venus is what I want to say. Could be Pluto. Flip a coin, Liam. Flip a coin. No, it's, it's <laughs> definitely more. Pluto's, Pluto's definitely more, because Pluto's no, farther no, away. So it, it, We're it, not it, counting it, Pluto. No, no, no. Exactly. Pluto doesn't so. count. So 80 it has to be closer. The year and the I'm pretty. Like, I really want to say Mercury. Well, thanks for telling us the answer. <laughs> this is not an open book test. Got your final answer? Wait, maybe. It's not the minute. It's not the minute. It's not the minute. Okay. Please reveal. Mercury. Wow, nice. All of you got that Mercury. Nice. Well, that is oh, the correct sorry. answer. Yeah. Uh, so. It, it, the distance, the closer it is, the shorter yeah, the days yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only two more questions remain. And if you answer this correctly, you will win the prize. We'll save the hardest question for the last one. Because I don't think many people will know this one. But this question is more testing your math skills again. Let me show you this question. Can you see this? What? Why am I not All right. opening? Carver students really like to take their time looking at the questions very carefully. <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's a good habit. You have 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Please reveal your answer. Come on, Tony, reveal your answer. Did he fall asleep? Tony! <laughs> Tony! Hello? <laughs> my wife's like, cut off. Uh, <laughs> He's back! Hello? Oh my god, my okay, okay. Broke off. Okay, all of you got the questions right. Oh man. Oh Oof. man. Oof. Final question. Which country has the only non quadrilateral flag in the world. What? Oh no! You must, two oh, things to, oh, wait. I think two I might things to know, know here. I think I might know. What is a I quadrilateral think... <laughs> and which country is it? No! I'm between two. Flag? Oh. This, one, this one's really good. Oh wait, no. They're very no. close to each other. Wait. Uh, wait. It was, it was fun playing. Thank you. <laughs> Liam, Liam, don't give up. That's not the spirit of Harvard. Maybe. Okay. True. Can I list two I, answers because I have like their countries are pretty close to each other and like. If you have two, out. then you have no answer. Oh. Ooh. Flip a coin. Flip a coin. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. You must choose difficult decisions. This is for the $50 prize at the very end. If you get this correct, you will win the prize. Everyone in this call right now. You got it, Bradley. Dude. We're, we're counting on you. Three, two, one. Reveal your answer. Oh. Wait, okay, I'm not even gonna show it. Liam, Liam, show me. I, I literally guessed a random country. Okay, what was it, Italy? Literally guessed, no. <laughs> Zimbabwe. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Bradley, Lap, and Brad. You guys got the answer correct. Woo! <laughs>
the, the Dude, country was... is Nepal. Nepal's flag is two triangles. Congratulations, Brad. Brad, the two Brads, and left. I'll invite you guys back in a competition to face off against Yale University. How about oh. that? Ooh. All right. All right. Yeah. This was super fun. This was really fun. This was yeah. so yeah. much fun. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. <laughs> All right, Bradley, I sent yours. Brad Wolf, I sent yours too. Yeah, I got it. Whoa, wait, $15 each? I thought it yeah. was fair. Oh, you thought it was fair. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I thought it was fair. Oh, no, God. the winner gets oh, $50. Wow. If I did nothing else during quarantine, I got real. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I was actually deciding between Harvard and, and Stanford, so. Ooh, you made the right choice. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's like, Dude. ooh, I'm gonna meet a YouTube celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what I thought when I was when I was offered the chance to do this. Subscribe to Hot Do it. Subscribe. Hit the like button and notifications button so you don't miss the next Campus Crowd Challenge. My name is Hafugo. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.